devastating storms and floods, they are all a part of a new reality around the globe. Global climate change is resulting in rising seas, coastal flooding, and increasingly powerful storm surges. Around the world. A scene in this video produced by the Aquarium of the Pacific, low-lying areas in the world that flood historically are immediately vulnerable to rising sea levels, says meteorologist Dan Kayan of the Scripps Institute of Oceanography. In the last uh, couple of decades, it's risen at a greater rate, and uh, we, we think very confidently that it will accelerate in the next several decades. Scientists estimate by the end of the century, the sea level will rise by an average of almost a meter around the world. Sea level rise will not end in 2100. It's, it's, a, it's an ongoing uh, problem as the, the planet adjusts to a, a new, uh, essentially a new energy balance because of, of greenhouse gases. Can says those greenhouse gases are warming the planet. And as the climate warms, uh, the potential for unleashing uh, stored water on Earth uh, largely in Greenland, Antarctica, uh, holds a lot of potential sea level rise in the future. We have the issue of rising seas, but that is coupled with our desire to live on coastlines. There is an intense level of development on coastlines. The photo exhibit Sink or Swim shows how people around the world are affected by flooding and how they adapt to the rising sea. In Bangladesh, students attend floating schools. A more high-tech floating building is in the Netherlands, this houseboat. Scientists say city planners and coastal communities need to continue to come up with innovative ways to adapt to this new environment through futuristic infrastructure and buildings that are water-friendly and can minimize devastation and human suffering. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Long Beach, California.